Hey guys, it's Cash, and today I have more information on the Epstein case. And also I wanted to talk a little bit about something called death pool betting. This kind of relates more to targeted individuals out there. Um, so in regards to Epstein, uh, he is now on suicide watch in New York, in a New York City jail. A guard for, found him on the floor, sprawled out on the floor of his cell, um, which kind of leads me to believe that either he wants to kill himself or somebody is trying to kill him because he obviously has a lot of information that could be very damaging to a lot of powerful people. When I made the comments the other day of um, in my last video, which I'll link down below, um, of him, of this, this uh, human trafficking of minors being used as blackmail, I was solely basing it off the comment that um, Virginia Roberts had made about Jeffrey wanting to know about the encounters that the girls had with these men. Um, it could have been either th thing, you know, he could just be a creep and gotten off on that information, but it seemed more to me like it was being used as blackmail, which in a video I watched yesterday, it holds to be true. So in the video, they're calling Epstein a foreign asset, and the meaning of a foreign asset is, is as a spy for none other than the CIA or the CIA's Israeli branch, which is called the Mossad. So in his first case in Miami in 2008, where he got this plea deal, the US attorney, Alexander Acosta, states that when he went to go against Epstein, which this could totally be crap, he could totally be just lying to save his ass, um, when he went to go against Epstein, they told him that Epstein belonged to intel intelligence and to leave him alone. So what kind of makes this believable and true is that his partner, his lady of the house, madam, whatever you want to call it, um, is Ghislaine Maxwell, whose father is a publishing tycoon, Robert Maxwell. And he was linked to the Mossad which is the Israeli spy agency. So people are kind of putting all of this together and kind of linking Epstein and Ghislaine with Mossad, saying that they could potentially be Mossad agents. Will they come out and say it? Probably not, but um, this is what Israelis do and this would make a lot of sense as to why they have so much political influence in our country, um, in the United States. So the CIA, I've spoken before, is made up of Israelis. This is information you can look up online. Israelis, Freemasons, Mafia, influencers, all people that have influence. So what a great idea this is. Blackmail and entrap politicians, not just in the USA, but all over the world. And it's, it's just kind of like, so they have these videos of these politicians, powerful people all over the world. Um, it's not just Epstein behind this. It's not just Epstein doing this. He's just the face of this. But this is a brilliant way for Israel to gain influence over U.S. politics by obtaining this type of blackmail. So Epstein wines and dines these politicians, these clients, and then brings out the girls and, you know, some will take the bait, some don't, but then the ones that do, they have video evidence to black the, blackmail them with. So this is, this is just bigger than Epstein. This is a 1% group of child pedophiles and predators. So there's also, there's a lot of links being made to other powerful people, um, like Leslie Wexler, 
the owner of Victoria's Secret, whether he has anything to do with it or not. Him and Epstein have a lot of shared properties and undercover, undercover deals between the two of them. So there's politicians implicated in this, business people, um, celebrities, a lot of people are very scared right now and freaking out, and they should be. You know, you think about it, this guy, <laughs> What, what would you go to him for besides that, you know? You have other connections out there that you can get other things from. Epstein was obviously known for one thing, and it was that he hung around with a bunch of 13, 14-year-old girls. That's like 7th and 8th grade. Just think about it. But he, he knows a lot of stuff. And he has a lot of stuff on a lot of very powerful people. So he's basically got two options. He rats people out for a better deal. Or he sits in prison for the rest of his life. And people out there are not going to let this guy rat them out. So something is most likely going to happen to him in prison. And be very surprised if he got far enough to make any type of deal. So let's take a look at this. This is a little chart that I made kind of easy to break down but yesterday all this information was coming at me so fast I kind of wrote it down so you have Jeffrey Epstein Ghislaine Maxwell her father the publishing tycoon media um, and Mossad agent most likely killed by Mossad and that's Robert Maxwell um, and then they're saying that Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine are Mossad foreign intelligence foreign assets that's what it means when they say that so this is just a branch of what is going on with these elites and one percenters and FBI and bar association lawyers um, I'm not sure what's worse the human trafficking of minors or the death pool betting that they run psyops on targeted individuals and citizens and young girls um, that are not part of this pyramid. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds like, what in the hell are you talking about? But if it didn't happen to me and to other people that I know, I probably wouldn't believe it myself. But it is something that is going on. And it is most likely as a means to obtain that 33 degree Masonic sacrifice. So what is death pool betting? It's where they run a PSYOP to induce suicide on somebody and see if they can get them to commit suicide. So when this happened to me, I'm sorry, it is so hot out here. It's like 100 friggin' degrees. Anyway, so when this happened to me, um, I knew right away. I knew what was going on because I had just made a video giving all this information out in my witchcraft video which I'll also link down below um, how they do this so it was basically run on me in a different state by people that I know um, and I was just kind of thinking like I just spoke about this like how is this happening but it, it, the hopes is that they leave somebody in a hotel alone and you know they create all this drama and you know they kind of just subtly dig at them and then leave them alone in hopes that they'll kill themselves in the hotel now when this happened to me um the girl lost her phone supposedly was in the same hotel as me but didn't show up again until five o'clock the next day so uh, this type of stuff doesn't work on people that would rather be alone it's just more of a minor inconvenience and um, just a questioning of character on the other person's end but I mean I guess I was more like okay whatever just leave your portion of the room before you go and leave me here by myself I, I, I really have no problem being <laughs> alone um, but it's covert. It's covert and it's very psychological. And it plays on your trauma based mind control, your MK Ultra codes and your MK Ultra triggers, your past traumas, things like that. But there's that. That's the world we're living in today. 
So if anybody ever flies you out anywhere, just just be mindful of the manufactured drama and the certain things that could potentially happen. If you end up staying in a hotel room alone, know that it's not you, that it's other people. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's the world we're living in today. Everybody's spies and covert murderers. So hopefully people will start to open their eyes to this stuff. Hopefully the people doing this stuff will, you know, learn from the karma that they're receiving by doing these things. And then we can just live in one happy, pleasant universe. Um, I will be back on Monday. So that's all I have to say for today. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and God bless.